As, as Jillio pointed out as he walked into the room, you're just all decked out in Kane's gear. Not not a single state thing? Not one? Not yet. I mean, we've been, we don't want to rock the boat. Everything's going good right now. So don't worry, I'll wear it. it, it, it I guarantee I'll be wearing it in, in, by the end of next weekend. When is it? Next weekend? It's Saturday. Sa- yeah, Saturday. Saturday, Monday. Saturday, Monday, okay. No, like, you have to say, Amy have to be into yeah, it. Come on, man. My, my house on. has gone bananas. Yeah. <laughs> you have a game Thursday. Game Friday, then game Sunday. There's a small window in there to get to Phoenix. <laughs> just saying. No, no. I just, right in my house is the best place to watch that game. Again, they've Basically. been winning, so he's not yeah, he's yeah. not moving. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Although, it, I'm, I'm impressed that you're keeping up with this stuff. It, it must be so crazy that you have to pay attention to it because, as Joe and I have joked, we know you're in – end of the regular season yeah. mode right now. Yeah, but I mean, you, listen, I love sports and we this everybody's watching that. That's mm. a, all the big things you got to watch. I don't care you guys, you get it. It's your your job, but I think for any sports guy, I mean, this is the great time of year. I mean, there's so much going on. I mean, his father-in-law played for Evercase, recruited David Thompson. Like yeah. No, he, I mean, <laughs> who's, in, who's in this room? I mean, there's, pic, there's pictures of David Thompson everywhere at PNC Arena, so yeah, along with you. It's so, a big, and it's been a while, right? Yeah, that, that, that to me is the the why it's so much more. I mean, <laughs> special. So. Okay, now that you say that, it, it is interesting. I still like look. You, you, there's you with the cup, and it's it's everywhere. Everybody's got memorabilia, but is. It, do you still feel like 2000? Age is funny. Does it yeah. feel like 2006 was like 30 days ago, or is it does feel like it was a long time ago? Well, it's scary because it is has been a long time now. It doesn't feel like mm-hmm. it's been that long, but that's what you know. Time flies, and man, that's why you got to take advantage of every chance you get. And people want it again, yeah. which is why you yeah. know there's been a lot of expectations with this season and the moves. We haven't talked to you um, since yeah. before the trade deadline. Um, were you surprised? I think a lot of us were surprised that a move was actually made. Were you surprised on the trade deadline uh, day? No, because we had so many talks going into it mm-hmm. and targets, the players, and so we and that never died down, mm-hmm. right? It was always okay. We're still in the mix. We're still, so it was legit right from the beginning, and um, clearly it worked for us to, to add what we did. So I think it's. Uh, it, it's not. It wasn't a surprise this time. Mm-hmm. It kind of goes offbeat, but what we've done in the past. But mm-hmm. it was the right move. And the the big acquisition to me, as I said to you then, was Freddie coming back. Yeah. Do, do you obviously he dealt with a very serious issue? Mm-hmm. But do you look at his ability to come back and be fresh, and now almost really be a good thing? Maybe for you guys. We'll see. We got to get there first. Yeah. Right? Like it's just. You're kind of holding your breath always because you just never know. You got seven games left here. We got to keep doing it right, and and then it, you know, you start the real race, and we got to see where we're at at that point. Do you feel, you know, with with the time of the trade and, and adding Gensel, are you are you satisfied with the way uh, the pairings have worked so far? I mean, obviously it's produced for Sebastian yeah. and, and with Seth Jarvis. Is that? Oh, yeah. Is that how you want this to work, or are you still kind of using well, these think, next games to I tinker? Think that, that is clearly something that looks like that's why would you mess with that? Right. I think we're still, you know, I think Kuzi's still finding his way a little bit. Clearly, see the talent and the, the puck ability when it's on a stick. Mm-hmm. Get everything just kind of there's there's a potential for something good to happen whenever he gets it. But I think there's still a learning mm-hmm. curve going on there with the rest of a, the game. So. Mm-hmm. That may still be that that line, that combo, all that's still probably up in the air. How does that change for you? Because, you know, after enough data, we kind of understand how you want to roll a hockey team out there. And I know and Jillian and I have talked about it. I'm just being the idiot that says, put a line together that's like a hammer. Now, don't give me depth. Give me a line that you can finish. Is that how you think about this going forward? Um, well, yeah, if, it, if that works. I mean, I think it's, it's, it's what's going to get you the best results and then – you know, there's matchup issues. There's mm-hmm. a lot of things that certain teams, certain lines might work. Okay. And then there's other teams where that may not. And so that all goes in a perfect world. You just, you can lay out everybody and, mm-hmm. and it should work. But I, I, I think, and maybe you overthink it as a coach a little bit, but <laughs> I, would we've had, think. we've had pretty good success doing it a certain way. And 
that we got to make sure we're doing it right when the time comes. I've been promising to give you a hard time because the last time we talked, I told you Sebastian Ajo was finding another gear. He's even found another one since our last conversation. Yeah. You were in super duper coach mode, though. Well, now even you have to admit there's no. He's playing really well. Yeah. There's no doubt. Um, I think the addition has helped him. It gives you a little juice when you, yeah. you play with a player like that, and then you you hit it off right away. I think that's exciting. So obviously that's something we just we get, we hope continue. You're like not going to be happy until there's a picture of him holding that. Then you'll tell me there's yeah, another gear. That's right. Right. That's right. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll we'll close on this. We talked a lot about the psychology of sending a message to the room and are you all in that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. We we bring up 2006 a lot. I know it's not a one for one. But to kind of take us back to post-tread deadline, what was the read in the room? Was it more business as usual or was there a, oh, okay, I see what we're about? I think I think the players, listen, we were a good team yeah. at that point. And if we hadn't done anything, we'd still be in, in probably the same spot we're in sitting here today. But there's an extra level to that, right? Right. It's, but the guys, I think, they, I give them credit. I mean, they were like, what are we doing? We mm-hmm. need to. We, you know, can we get that much better? Can we find it? And they, they, they asked for it. You okay. know, they were like, yeah, we, we, you know, and like I said, had we not done anything, I think we'd been fine. We were a good team, but I think we're that much better now, and you know, we just got to go prove it. Well, you're superstitious, so just don't get too good because you don't want to win the President's Trophy. Mm-hmm. That that team doesn't win the cup, so just, well, just, just, just pace yourself. It's been done. Just pace yourself. It's been done. Yeah, 2013, been done. right? Yeah, and all the other time. teams lose too, so right? <laughs> that don't, right? There's only one that does actually win it, so I don't know. We just take care of our business. Thanks, Ryan. All right.